my coffee. Got a camera. Got some patch notes to go over, guys. So, let's not be a massive bellend, shall we? And let's discuss the enlisted patch notes. <laughs> notes for enlisted large update 0.1.11.27 why can't people just say update this instead of just a bunch of numbers what is it star trek star date 2.5 but no no anyway let's get back to it uh this is what's going on in the full change log engineers can now build anti-tank emplacements i will repeat engineers finally have the ability to build anti-tank emplacements for the germans it's the pack 38 a very good gun very good gun to the point where they mounted it on a tank destroyer this is a marda 3 that uses the pack 38 and the soviets of course get the 53k the bigger gun which can take out most of the german panzers in like one shot so yeah what's new they've also added Authentic models for the following weapons. The Mosen Nagant Rifle, or the Moist Nugget as we like to call it. The pre-war Car 98K. The Shotgun Toz B. I don't know why they've added the Toz B. I think it's like ever since Escape from Tarkov added the Toz. All of a sudden it's like, oh, they've set the lead, comrade. We must follow. No, 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 no. Um, the Gewehr 3340. Finally, I'm sorry, I've been trying... That was one of my gripes when I first started streaming uh enlisted which was the gewehr model that didn't look correct the mp28 finally sorry about that guys the mp28 finally and the flamethrower the rockers uh, 2 which is the soviet flamethrower now they've added two new missions and a map type monastery this i think is going to be a really good map from what i'm looking now i haven't played the map yet again i'm still patching no joke still pa in fact the patch is complete so We'll get to see what it looks like in-game here in a few minutes. Now, it's a new mission variant, um, so it's always fun. The variety is the spice of life, as they say, guys. And so it is in the uh, Volivanko, I'm sorry if I murdered that, uh, village, uh, it's invasion. Uh, that also got adjusted just for balance. Uh, additional weather options in the missions have been added. Awesome. Finally, we might get some rain, uh, various other things, maybe a snowstorm. Oh, that would be cool. Um, weapons and equipment. The MP28. The magazine capacity is now only 20 rounds. <laughs> Boo. Um, default number of magazines in your inventory is increased from 5 to 7. Still. <laughs> MP28 did have a 30 round, 30 round box mags. I'm sorry, but they did. They did. They did come stock with 20 rounders. But your elite fighting force should get elite fighting force gear. Gaijin. Uh, improved aiming and, sh and shooting of, uh, uh, of and reloading of the Mosin rifle. Of course, you're going to improve Russian stuff. Uh, PPD, PPD, PP yeah. So it's like nerf, nerf German. Improve, 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 improve Russian. Here, let me just adjust your little bias mask there for a second, Gaijin. Um, machine guns and automatic weapons. Automatic cannons in vehicles are now loaded with belts and magazines and need time to reload. So you've nerfed the Panzer II. I'm slow clapping for the death of the Panzer II. Press F in chat. Because now the T-80 is just literally just going to stand and go, da -da -da -da, you're dead. 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 While the Panzer II is still going, I'm still reloading. Give me a minute, Sveinhood. Seriously. So that kind of sucks. Uh, summer tank camo replaced with winter camo. Okay. Uh, change the camo for the intercept of the BF-109F1. Okay. Uh, camo for engineer constructions changed from summer to winter style. Okay. 
Uh, gameplay and soldiers. The amount of experience in a lone fighter game mode has been increased. Thank you. Uh, added resource spent on construction by engineers. Now they can build all available objects in one respawn only if you have several engineers in the squad. Okay, so the more engineers that you have in your squad, the better the... Because the, 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 I noticed certain things could only be built uh, once or twice, etc., which is balance reasons. But I also know that the fact that there were certain items that were in my inventory wheel that for some reason I just could not build. Um, so maybe they've done that to stop people from mass spamming the anti tank guns. That would make sense. So that added a, uh, a checks and balance kind of thing. Um, added an ammunition resupply container built by the engineer. If there's no ammo left in it, it closes. Nice. Uh, you will now get experience for aiding a heavy wounded soldier with another squad. Uh, aiding how? I don't think you can heal uh, wounded soldiers. Fr wounded friendlies, anyway. Um, players will now be able to occupy a seat in a vehicle if it's already occupied by an AA soldier. If another player, with exceptions of players playing in one group. That's just... You can tell this is translated from Russian. Uh, AI soldiers will stop changing posture too often while shooting. Thank you. Because that always gets you killed. Improved AI behavior when closing close to a burning object or fire. Again, thank you. AI soldiers will now, now note player enemy marks and attack spotted enemies in that direction. Uh, improved AI soldiers navigation again. Thank you The heavier the weapon the greater the impact on stamina That slots that stops the, the LMG Rambos that's been Rampant since they unlocked the the, the, the first uh, uh, LMGs are running around going uh, uh, Like they're fucking Rambo um, Now aiming at an allies mobile spawn point will in will be indicated in uh, okay, so this basically if you're in a tank and you highlight an, an, an allied, allied construction you it, you get oh it's allied don't shoot it a flamethrower burned fuel uh or molotov cocktail can now break an engine tank's engine if it gets in pondering saurus rex here so that means i could technically swap out some of my anti-tank explosives for some, for some of my stockpiled molotovs Nice. Um, improved targeting skills of a tank gun ability has been added. It enables a cannon to be guided horizontally and vertically simultaneously. So in other words, they've gone from RB controls in tanks to arcade controls in tanks. The only difference is you don't get your aim, uh, 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 aim assist. Stuff like that. So, aha. Uh, improved animation of the commander looking out of the hatch. Okay. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, added pilot head movement inertia. Thank you. Uh, change it, changed pilot angle of view. Okay. Interface. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, AI, uh, six vehicles work, now. Work related. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and let's see where improved bugs fixes. Da 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 da. Yeah, it's just minor things performance increases and whatnot you see the one thing i was looking for was the soldier ai so let's uh go ahead and uh see what's happened in game shall we let's see if there's no more see if there's any more um spawn camping rambos which is a, a problem that the game had for a while is there was a lot of people that when especially in conquest when they knew they were losing they would purposely put a spawn beaker out by one of our respawn points and just stand there and just mow us down as we were coming out because there isn't any form of spawn protect for the attackers, but there is for the defenders, which made no sense to me. Um, I really would like to see that addressed um, because I, I genuinely think, I genuinely think and feel that that is something that needs to be addressed. Coffee's almost gone. Here we go. More patch note updates that we've already know. Oh, yeah. Weapons and equipment's been changed. Some weapons and equipment have been changed. Da, 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 da. Close. Okay. They've actually updated the uh, pictures as well. 
of the soldiers. It used to just be regular body shots. Now no, it's actual images of what the soldiers are that I like. Now, one of the things I would really like them to change a look at is the logistics section. What I mean by that is I'm just going to change my mouse macro real quick. Uh, pop, 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 pop. the onboard memory of my mouse is going but um like the, the the images can be pretty misleading the lot uh, logistics image can be very misleading there's no chance of you getting a machine gun or a Sturmgewehr. um i genuinely think that it's extremely misleading um but hey you know it is what it is i'm just going to go over the, go over my infantry real quick of course you know my my elite squad's getting up there Mordotson's gonna have to be replaced here. Let's look at my soldiers. Um, and that's another thing. You get far too many basic infantrymen more than a specialized soldier. So my suggestion to, to, to you, to, to you guys, is to allow us in game to go to our, our training facility, go, go to the academy, for example, go to our basic troopers, Grab a couple of basic troopers and, you know, sacrifice them and say, okay, I want an engineer or I want an assaulter or I want an attack pilot or I want a fighter pilot or I want a radio operator or, a, or I want a sniper or I want a tanker. Give us the ability to, to get rid of basic troopers to get specialized troopers. Okay. One, it gives us somewhat of a little grindy wall, like you have to level up these soldiers, sack them to get another newbie soldier that you have to level up again. Rinse and repeat, 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 until you've got him maxed out. It would be a bit of an EXP sinker for a unit, but in all honesty, I think it would, it, 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 it would work. I think genuinely it would work. Um sorry but i do i just genuinely think it would work um and that's another thing we if we've got all these infantry why can't we add them why can't we get extra slots that we can unlock that we can just drag and drop more infantry in i mean yeah keep the tank or keep the plane as a mandatory but allow us to drag and drop more units down into to, to play i mean i've got a level 25 infantry right here Level 10 recon, level 7 tanker. This infantry squad's maxed. It's maxed, guys. Maxed. Because again, it, yes, this is the infant this is the unit you get for free for the Germans when you buy your pack. But my point is, they're maxed out. So do I not use the benefit of a maxed out squad and then go with an underpowered squad like my my, my poor infantry regiment? These guys don't even have uh, it's not my radio for it, is where is it? It's um in, these guys these guys don't even have med kits i literally use them as sacrificial units they don't even have med kits so you want me to drop my level 25 highly veteran experienced infantrymen for guys that don't even have med kits these are remnant units at best and a remnant unit usually got broken up and the soldiers put into other units that were either A, going to be canary units. Google this. Either canary units or sacrificial lambs. And a canary unit is pretty much a nice broad term, military term, for a sacrificial unit. Or conscripts, as they would like to be called in the Russian army. But the fact that I'm going to be getting... Another, uh, uh, more infantry, an anti-tank battalion, plus uh, uh, mortar teams. Okay, so say I take 
my anti-tank battalion, my mortar teams, my engineers and my tankers. Okay? All specialized to do their own specific thing in their own specific way. And I get that. In, in many ways, you know, you've got to be a team player kind of thing. But right now, it's just meat for the grinder. I would like tailor-made gameplay. And I can't get that. But, you know, is what it is, right? Is what it is. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to join a battle real quick. Not all my units are ready for battle. Why are you not ready for battle? Okay. So is that what you were telling me? I had one too many soldiers in my tank division because you know, Panzer 1C can only have three people. <laughs> but I do have four tankers, so in theory, I could get a Panzer 4. Or a Panzer 3. You know, I, 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 can, I can get higher tier Panzers, but guess what? They're locked away. So, w Conquest, not, not the map I was looking for. I was looking for the uh, Monastery. But, you know, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in my... I'll log in my core infantry. are not working for some reason. This set is persistent. Yeah, they've changed. Ooh, Shiza. They have changed it, the audio. What are you... Okay, fair. Bro. For some reason, my target markers aren't working. So give me a second. Let's go to you. There it is. Clearing a tank. Dickhead. That's 
to friendly. Shit, 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 shit. Hello? Wow, my entire men got slaughtered by one guy with a knife. Okay, and of course my camera's freaking frozen. So let me just turn that shite off. No, I want to turn the webcam off, thank you. Stop sounding like you're in a German porno. Right, I'm gonna go for A. I'm not going for B. B's too well established. Yeah, yeah. Another server spike. Sure, what tank that is, friendly or enemy? Sounds enemy. Fuck me, really, dude? That's all you could do It's grenade, grenade, grenade. See, again, players like that, no, sorry, you need to fucking learn. Stop, that, that's old school heroes and generals, all right? And I'm not even joking. That right there is old school heroes and generals, and you want to know what happened to players that did that? They got econ bounced out of the game. And what I mean by that is, I mean, Reto purposely rebalanced their economy to stop players from being nothing but, you know, Bomberman 2.0. Uh, this is another freaking thing. It is... The AI being right up your ass and you're not able to fucking move and breathe. No freaking recon unit. No, no unit period. It's called, it's called unit coherency. You know, yeah, you've got to stay within a certain distance, but no professional army.
would be like that. Bro, this is what I'm talking about. What the fuck were you doing in there, mate? Taking a shit? I believe I can fly. Nope. What I'm doing is in... Trying to find a point where I can... Put my weapon to good use. Of course, I've already lost the man. Because he's just standing around like a fucking tit. And it would be the one with the fucking scope. Again, what is it with these fucking cut and paste logs? I'm sorry, but... I don't think there's a construction company called Log Homes R Us that have cut and pasted and built the same fucking house repeatedly. I understand that these are placeholders. And they have... Greatly reduced the amount of infant, uh, the amount of units you can have. Stop yelling. I'm just trying to get a good angle. Spawn beacon around here somewhere. Here, get here. I've lost all my men. <sighs> really? Hello? How the fuck was that not even a hit? Okay. We've got friendly panzers rolling up. Alright, over there someone's built an anti-tank gun.
Of course. Yeah. It's amazing how they've got pinpoint accuracy behind a cold damn wall. Come on. Come on. Get up. Fuck's sake, guys. Come on. Oh, how the hell did we win? But anyway, we won somehow. I don't know how, but we won. There you go. Order for weaponry. Yeah, yeah useless medals that don't mean shit. Yeah, okay. Useless medals that don't mean shit. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, is you click on this thing, can, you see the icon, again, most people are very visual, and what I mean by that is when they see something, can I, hopefully, no, no, Trying to get my webcam to work again, guys. Sorry. No. It's not going to work. Anyway. Um, a lot of people are very visual, which means the icon they see is something that they think they're going to get. Well, I'm sorry, but... You don't get any of this equipment. Getting a pistol is a rarity. Getting anything useful is a rarity. You know? I'm literally out of med kits and hand grenades and various other things. So I can't afford the luxury of getting a level 1 to 6 weapon. So. Oh look. A pre-war car 98 tools that don't help me. And Vitsius parts that don't do anything. And this unit got a workshop upgrade, which means modification costs for an MP38 are reduced again by 15%, which still doesn't stack. It doesn't do anything. So I can go with a unit upgrade, which means we'll get an assault guy, which is pointless because we don't have any assault guys in the squad, uh, any assault soldiers spare. Same as I've got one re uh, sniper spare. I don't have any gunners spare. So, me unlocking those right now is just not worth it. So, there you go. Weapons disassembly cost, um, modification cost, etc, etc. Okay, so, let me go to soldiers. Let me go to his MP28. Okay, I don't have any spare to upgrade. And it's going to cost me 50 parts to upgrade it and i've only got seven parts okay if you are constantly raising the parts bar on the weapon up 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 and up and giving us false hope by saying hey you get this you get that okay by doing something like that okay you're not actually doing anything that that right there in sales terms is illegal because what most companies do of course they don't want to tell you that they do this but what most companies do is just before a sale okay they will up the price of an item and then when the sale hits they just reduce it down to its regular regular sale price and you think you're getting a deal because it says 30 percent off or 40 percent off or 50 percent off and you think oh it's a bargain i'll buy it no you just bought the same telly at the same price but guess what Okay, if you try to take that telly back, once you bought it during the sale, they'll tell it, oh, see, I can't give it a full retail price, man. You bought it during the sale. Can't do that. And they end up scamming you and giving you another. You, 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 they give you less money than, again, that's basically what, what this system feels like to me. It literally feels like, to me, that bit by bit by bit by bit by bit, if I dump endless points in upgrades, 
for example. I mean, look how many freaking points I've spent. Okay? So, this one is 10%. That one's another 12, so that's 22%. Okay? 22 plus 15, let's see, that's 35, 36, that's 37%. Okay? That's 47%. That's 59% now. That's 59, 60, 64% now. That'd be 74%. Then 86%. And then 101% off modifications costs. So your math doesn't add up. And even then, it's not actually applying to the cost of the points, as you've seen. It's not applying. At 50 points to upgrade a gun, when I've got literally over 50% off, and it's at 50 points now, I'm sorry, Gaijin, but you need to take a look at the quote-unquote upgrades section of the game, because clearly, I just pointed out a fundamental flaw in your mathematics. It doesn't work. It just flat out does not work. See now, if these guys want to modify a weapon, okay, I'll go to the soldier, click here, click here, and see, if I already own the gun, what's stopping me from ordering a gun? And that, that's my whole point. And another thing, backpacks. Why is backpacks locked? I have not gotten a single backpack this entire freaking go, go of the game. Not one. Not a single backpack. What soldier goes to war without a backpack? Seriously. Even in World War II, soldiers had backpacks. I love the gaming mechanics. I, 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 I do. I love the game mechanics in this. It's freaking awesome. I genuinely do love the game mechanics. The game mechanics are, are just freaking awesome. And I love it. I love the game mechanics. I really, really, really do. This is the point I'm trying to make. It's the, it's the little things that soldiers use that were mass produced. Mass produced. You're literally just feeding us breadcrumbs and not the loaf of bread. And I, I, I genuinely mean that. You're literally feeding us breadcrumbs, not the loaves of bread. See, 27 soldiers in reserve. For my fucking sniper unit. Okay. It's not like these guys can take any more soldiers. I don't think. Uh, unit upgrade. Can they? Oh, sod me. They can. They can They can get one more. One more. But they can also have uh, four snipers. With, uh, with car 98s with scopes. Uh, one assault guy. And a radio operator. And what else is there? Um, yeah. So... You know, there's that. Update. Good. AI. Uh, questionable. When one guy can walk in there with a knife and just stab and kill how many of my men? Because they're still just standing around and they have no ability for self. They'll, they'll, heal, they'll heal themselves if they get hit. But they don't shoot at what shoots at them. I'll re I, I, I will say that again. Them healing, fine. Don't have a problem with that. In fact, I like that. But they will not shoot 
at what shoots at them. No matter how, quote unquote, you've modified their AI to do that. Really? You literally just saw one guy with a knife stab four of my soldiers to death. I don't care how much of a Wolverine fan he is. Four versus one. The four have rifles. I don't care if he's Black Widow. I don't care if he's Hawkeye. I don't give a shit if he's Russian Captain America. Four v one. No contest. Four highly trained Wehrmacht soldiers versus one Russian with a butter knife. And apparently, according to Gaijin, the Russian with the butter knife wins. No. Just, just no. 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 Just, just no. Is the patch a hit or a miss? Um, parts of it are a hit, most of it's a miss. Sorry. Your, your, your Soviet bias mask is slipping. You will nerf the SMGs of, of the Germans, but not the, not the Russians. You will nerf the reload rate of the Panzer II, but not the T-80. Um, you've made the AI appear to be absolutely fucking dumber. Um, other than that, yeah, you've gone the complete opposite direction. So for me, I'd say out of 100% of this patch, I'll be nice and generous and say 20% of it's a hit. And 80% of the rest is a complete and total miss. So yeah, until then guys, I will uh, see you in the next video.